in Bitcoin, and let's start on the weekly chart. The reason that this is a reversal zone is because it's not everything lining up at the same level exactly. Um, when we project the 1272 from this high to low, it's slightly higher than where we are, 16500. When we project a few other swings, for example, if we uh, if we put on this one here in the middle, you can see this 2.618 would be a little bit higher. And this 1.618, if we go down, uh, was tagged perfectly. So it may be that we still creep a little bit higher in this reversal zone in Bitcoin and still may make a reversal here. You know, uh, we're just in the box at the moment and really I, I really feel like unless we can get above and hold above 16600 we could reverse in this zone okay so even if uh, if we go down lower time frame you can see there's a lot of confluence and so i don't know which exact high plus is the discrepancy between the exchanges because there is no one centralized uh, price is there for bitcoin so if i put this high to low on here we are at the 1272 of this if we said that this was an ABC, you know, the 1.618 again is a little bit higher. So we've still got room in this kind of zone uh, to still get reverse, you know. At the moment, though, I think that we are still had a little bit higher because if I go down to the 15 minute or the hourly, we seem to be holding on at this back test of this 786 that we've crept above. If I put regular candles on, you can see it's a little last hour, a little hammer candle. And so potentially we could creep higher. But again, remember, we could we could get up here and we could still, you know, reverse and it wouldn't be uh, the bullish outcome um, we're hoping for. I feel like there's, you know, fundamentals. There's a lot of money institutional money still coming into Bitcoin and that's all really helpful um, the only reason why I think we would see a reversal is everybody's a little bit uh, too bullish you know what I mean uh, it's fear and greed is just a little bit too much on the on the greed side so I've got I'm done too many there uh, so that's what I'm thinking. If we look at some other exchanges, because yesterday we hadn't got above that 786 Fib level in Coinbase. Here in Coinbase, you can see we're, oh, we went overnight oh, above it overnight and now we're back underneath it. You know, again, with this, if we take the most recent swing higher, which is very common, we've reversed at the 1272. If this was an ABC like this, which it might have been, in which case you put your fibs on the A to C, then we've got room for us to go creep a little bit higher here as well, haven't we? And the 1272 lines up. So we've got, it really does pay to think of this as a zone and expect some sideways weekend trading here. And we'll see then which way, what happens. We'll either reverse. I think if we make a nice wedge or a sideways triangle pattern or something like that then potentially we will keep going higher now what's holding up uh bitcoin let's look at some of the let's look at the legacy markets and then we'll look at the small coins so in the stock indexes where we thought that we certainly at the end of yesterday it looked like it was a bear flag everybody was short uh we had a leg down Here's our flag and we failed to make a new low. So means we've got a, a well again, it means that this B leg isn't finished. We've got a sideways range. We're likely to head back to the top of the range. That would be an equal measured move, wouldn't it? Because we've got a double bottom. We might creep a little bit higher, trick everybody on the long side. But we're still I feel like we're still owed. And because this is a slightly see this low here this is actually the low low isn't it because this is a higher low we could make a small harmonic pattern here let's see what the pattern would be if we put the fibs in well if this first swing 
was a 50%, which I think it was, no, it wasn't 38.2, which means this, um, means the same anyway. It means that this swing should go to at least a 1.618 if we make a new high and hold a new high. So we're looking for at least 1.618, which puts us up at 3,600. Hopefully that would line up with the 786 which the S&P loves. So if we have a big strong bullish today, day to day, might not line up, but in fact they don't seem to be lining up at all, do they? Oh well. We'll put them in anyway and we'll see where we go. If we, if we do the, let's do the equal measured move thing. Take that away because See if we can get any confluence. That's always what you're looking for. Yeah. So maybe marginal equal 3581 would be the equal measured move. And where we are now is where the 61.8 is. So that kind of gives us two immediate uh, resistance levels to watch for a reversal. This market, it's amazing how much it moves when you consider the mark, this S&P moves more when America is closed than it does when it's open. It's really quite extraordinary. And then I think 3,600 if we don't reverse at the previous highs. There, so that's how I'm looking at the S&P. And then, you know, we are still load a leg lower, but if it's a smaller one, we could end up making a triangle or something like that. So, um, yeah, not that bearish, not that bullish.